All right, let's make an op amp circuit in LT Spice with a universal op amp. Here we go. Uh, up in the component menu, select component symbol. We want the uh, op amps. Op amp, universal op amp is way at the end of the list. Universal op amp 2. Uh, this is good to read up here. Allows four levels of simulation accuracy. See this example for details. Uh, so on, so on, so on. Level uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's slap this down, make our circuit, then we'll come back to what those examples are. All right, so we're going to add a uh, voltage source for making a uh, non-inverting amplifier. So let's do that. Call this uh, VN, VI. Let's make it 1 millivolt. Fire it up. Add a magic ground symbol. Resistors R1, R2. Op amp, op amp, op amp. There we go, there we go. And here, we need a ground symbol here, and this is a inverting or not inverting op amp structure. So let's add out, name the node out, sideways, but we'll get used to it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to name these two nodes V plus the power supplies. Remember this is a real op amp. It's a model of a real op amp. V plus and V minus. Add that. Then we're going to zoom out here and we need the power supplies actually build them. Let's kind of build them off to the side. Let's do that. V plus is this node. V minus is the bottom node. Zero. All right, there we go. So here's our power supply here. V plus, zero, or ground, and V minus. Let's do it plus or minus 10 volts just for fun. It's like the lab. All right, and then these nodes, because they're named the same, will also get uh, connected together. Just a convenient shortcut so we don't have to have those power supply wires. All right, this one I'm going to do different uh, resistors. We're going to do a gain of 5. So 4K and 1K, that's 1 plus R2 over R1 is a gain of 5. I would expect when we simulate this, just to find the operating point. One millivolt in, gain of five, we expect five millivolts out, plus five. Let's simulate that and see what happens. Edit simulation, DC operating point, okay. Set it down, run. Hey, here we go. All right, so V out is not five millivolts. It's 4.99998. Well, that's because this is an op amp with not infinite gain and other other items. Also, is this a two pico amp current for IX? That's IX going into pin two, which is the plus input, or the minus input. This is the plus input. Uh, VI, and here it is. KCL at this node is these two devices. That's why they're opposite here. All right, also in this operating point, watch this. I'm going to hover over the voltage source. Look at the bottom row. You see DC operating point. I, VI is minus two picoamps. That's the passive sign convention, so it's leaving VI going into the op amp. All right, so we have. That, 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 that. Okay, we're going to right click on our universal op amp and see what we simulated. And this is, we're going to be changing this op amp quite often uh, as we go along. Right now, we actually simulated level two. There's level one, level two, 3A, and 3B. For now, we're using level two. And all these parameters are parameters we can change. These are just kind of a fake op amp. We can make these numbers match whichever one we're using at the moment. You look up, look these numbers up in the data sheet. AVOL, open loop voltage gain, 1 meg, which is 1 million. It's also 120 dB. GBW, that's another parameter, gain bandwidth product, slew rate. 
So on I limit, that's one that's important to us even now. 25 milliamps is the maximum current that this op amp can output. If we ask it more, it won't work or it'll clip. Rail is how many volts to the power supply rails the output can go, which is zero. Mm, that's called a rail to rail output op amp. No offset voltage, we'll talk about that later. No noise, uh, no uh, voltage noise or current noise, but the RN, the input resistance, is 500 mega ohms. So let's remember that 500 mega ohms. So we have one millivolt and two pico amps. Why don't we calculate that? So we have, let's see, one millivolt and two pico amps, which is five times 10 to the eight. If it was five times 10 to the nine, that would be a giga ohm or five giga ohms, but this is 500 mega ohms. Well, wasn't that RN 500 mega ohms? Our prediction was that this RN was going to be uh, 500 mega ohms or this RN times one plus a beta, uh, the amount of feedback, but that's not the case. Um, I checked into this and uh, this op amp model is here. Here's the file, open the symbol. But what I really look for was the model. Here's the model. So program blah 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 op, universal op amps 2.sub. This is what actually implements that model in SPICE syntax. We were using level 2 here. And if we just look for RN, we see a bunch of RNs uh, clustered here. This is a resistor between the output and the plus input, the output and the minus input, the minus input and 4, which is one of the power supplies, and also the plus input and 4, which is the other power and uh, one of the, the same power supply. Uh, when we add this together, if you do some circuit analysis in your head, you find out that because there's a resistor between the output and the input and resistors between the input and the power supply, this is not that RID that we have in the, uh, that we talked about today in class. So when we see the 500 mega ohms show up again, that's really how the circuit was implemented right here. And uh, that's probably not the most accurate way and doesn't model what we get. So that's why it was not larger than 500 mega ohms. It was exactly 500 mega ohms, and that's just what we have. Checked into it because it was annoying. So in the uh, homework, I did ask you to find the input resistance, input voltage divided by the measured input current. You'll get 500 mega ohms. And that's really not what you uh, would expect by the equations, but it's how the simulator did it. It's one thing to note. Sometimes the simulator does exactly what you asked it to, and we need to find out what we actually asked it to do. So actual voltage gain, the other one. Let's compare the ideal voltage gain. That would be a voltage gain of five. Four over one plus one. We got an output of 4.9999 at the bottom, eight millivolts with one millivolt in. So let me run the operating point. Here's our output. Let's calculate the gain. So output divided by Input was one millivolt. That's a gain of 4.99998. Not that surprising. It's not five because the open loop gain is not infinite. But we can predict this by, remember it was A, our open loop gain was one million. Beta was actually R1 over R1 plus R2, if we do that, which was, let's see, 1K over 1 plus 4K, or 1 fifth. Oops, we need to uh, not do integer math. There we go, 0 0.2. And if we find the gain, it's A divided by 1, oops, 1 plus A times beta. And do we see this? 4.999975, which if we round is an eight. Exactly, really as predicted within some numerical 
issue spice just rounded it to six there we go for now uh, right now we're just going to use the default parameters in here uh, the very next homework assignment will we will be messing with these to make op amps behave as we uh, as we wish thanks for watching